this is the last work I made. I finished it in end of November of last year. And it doesn't have a title really, but we call it the confetti piece because it has tens of thousands of confetti particles that fall from the sky um, in an extreme slow motion. Um, it's in fact so slow that the naked eye hardly notices uh, anything falling. And it's based upon a picture that I had in me for many years, and this is usually how I work. I keep, I keep uh, ideas, I'm not always sure what the ideas are about, in fact. And I really consider myself as an archaeologist who's in a dark hole um, with just a little candle um, and trying to dig out a previous, <laughs> previous civilization um, until I, I meet um, above ground, until I meet sunlight. And then I start making my work. So I'm never sure really of the concept of a piece. But writing does help. And the piece exists out of, uh, I believe it's, a, I'm not sure exactly how many images there are, something like 150, probably. You see that I forgot, because the production was quite uh, stressful, and maybe I wanted to forget it. Around 150 um, extreme slow motion images that were edited in a double screen projection. You have two 16 to 9 screens set up in space. There's no sound. I initially planned sound, but I usually consider it a, a, an achievement if in the end I decide to trash the sound idea. Because sound is really, uh, is really, um, how do you, how you sign your own death sentence as an artist, really? This is something for cinematographers. But if you are in an in a exhibition space, which is outside cinema, that contract with the screen doesn't work. And that contract with the screen is also one including sound in, in, in the cinematic universe. So if I can ditch audio, I try to. The theme or the motive, if one could say so, it's not really about elections or it's not about a party. It's more, the motive is more about color. And I think the, the idea of um, local, local elections somewhere in the United States with very well of people celebrating something or someone, the election of someone, uh, but you never, you never really get to see who he is. Is um, it, that was an abstract theme? I didn't know exactly why I wanted to have it, but there was a, a core. There's a, a, a kern, Johann of Deutsch sagt, in the image which um, I needed to build all this around. And the core is a young boy, a little little fellow with his family, father and mother. And um, he's the only figure in the, in, in the film who's not upwards directed, who doesn't, who's not in relation to the confetti in a positive way. Uh, because it's all about verticality and up until now. Uh, it's really a propaganda image, if you want. And my inspiration also was, uh, or my source images, also were uh, from the previous uh, American elections. Now, the space that you see built around it is uh, loosely based on Bad Bentheim, which is in uh, northwestern Germany. And I then kind of Frankensteined it into something else uh, because they didn't give us permission to uh, film it or to photograph it. And to, or to scan it, because I use scanning a lot 
um, I went in, in, in incognito and in two afternoons I took hundreds of images of the building so that we could, would be able to make a scan out of it or a 3D model. So I did it without permission. So I'm going to maybe uh, skip uh, showing you the rest of the film. It's around, how long is the film, do you remember? 18 minutes? It's around 18 minutes. And my strategy usually is um, to make something so boring up to a certain point where your, your, your own DNA, your own innate cinematic reflex would say, I don't have time for this. I, I need to go on with my life. There's no, there's no sound cues. Um, there's very little, uh, I would say, with Gilles Deleuze's time image, where you have uh, rhythm cutting up and determining the story, where you have sequence of uh, images describing a space in a, in a, in a rapid manner. Um, I, I'm probably more the type of uh, motion image uh, person, where motion determines life animation. And the basis of animation is, of course, the belief in life. It's the opposite of death. It's a little bit like photography. It's, you choose light, not darkness. It's a quasi-religious choice that photography made. Now, now comes where I can show you something of how I made it. <clears throat> 